So a patient comes in with a pulled Achilles tendon and they've been to their doctor, made sure there's no rupture. They're able to walk, but they're, they're still in discomfort. So what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna show you today the fastest way to help an Achilles tendon heal so we can get some pain relief to the patient. And that's by using cross fiber friction. So once we've done the superficial work, we, you know, some Swedish strokes, we get a little bit deeper. This muscle is nice and these three muscles actually, we've got the gastric nemius, um, soleus, and then uh, plantaris. Those are the three that make up the Achilles tendon and that tendon uh, inserts on the calcaneus also known as a calcaneal tendon, so it can go either way, Achilles or calcaneal. Uh, once we've warmed up all that tissue, then I have permission to do the cross fiber friction. And the way I'm gonna do that is, I'm gonna use the, the foot and the ankle to my advantage. So I'm going to internally and externally rotate the ankle, which, which makes it very, very easy to do this, uh, do this fiber work. You can use the uh, forearm itself, so we have lotion, we use our forearm and we place it right on the tendon itself and we go ahead and we start doing the internal external rotation and just like a saw that's cutting wood, you go back and forth. So I don't even have to move my arm. So my arm isn't even moving. I just use the ankle to do all the work for me and I just go ahead and move superiorly all the way up until I reach the back of the, the knee. And then I work myself all the way down. Now, part of this is you're not working the actual tendon itself. You're up into the gastric nemius. And we work our way all the way back down. Work our way all the way back up. Now we know the gastric nemius is a um, phasic muscle. It's the most powerful muscle. It's the one that's most likely to be injured along with the Achilles tendon. Uh, the soleus is the postural muscle. It's more the endurance muscle. And it's what we, when we stand, we use it more. Plantaris, I don't, I don't really think much of it other than the fact that, you know, it does a little bit of plantar flexion of the foot. But that's why I go ahead and I work the muscle also. So I'm not gonna just work the Achilles tendon. I'm actually gonna work the muscles that are involved with it too. And the soleus, where it, and, you know, the tendon comes together here, is gonna be more on the sides, on the medial and lateral aspect. So again, I'm gonna pinch on either side. I'm gonna hold with both my both fingers and I'm gonna use the ankle to my advantage. So I'm gonna work my way up and do the exact same thing. Instead of all the wrenching that you have to do, you see now I've lost control of the, of the, of the leg itself, the lower leg. See, that's not as effective as using the foot to my advantage. As long as they have a healthy ankle. I mean, if they have a problem with their ankle, that's going to be an issue too. But we're going to work that tendon both superiorly and inferiorly. We're going to do the cross fiber friction, use our body mechanics to our advantage. And uh, we're going to bring a lot of relief. Again, probably three days a week with 72 hours in between is going to help this to heal very, very quickly.